Is that a male? I have to be careful. It's certainly smaller than the queen. Let's have a close look. Um, yeah, it's a male, isn't it? Can you tell that how? Well, you've got to be certain because look, it's got very long antenna. Oh, long antenna, right? Okay. Oh, well, I was mm, extra careful with these things. But, um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's a male. You can see. So, <laughs> first time I did this, I thought, mm, better check this. But that is definitely a male. So you can pick it up because it hasn't. We won't have a sting. male hornet. See with his big long... He'll try and sting you. That's again, right. but hasn't got a sting. Only male bees and wasps have stings. So if you know for certain, you've got to be careful, <laughs> obviously. But they, the ma um, So you mean male bees well, and wasps um, don't have swings? Yeah, no yeah. male bee or wasp has a sting, because right. the sting is, an ad is adapted, is evolved from the ovipositor. So only females are going to have that. So all males lack a sting. So, so as long as you know, they have an extra segment to their antenna and they have 13 segments and they have an extra segment to their body but that's not quite so easy to see. Right. Um, but with certainly with social wasps in Britain, the males have these long, very dark antennae which mm. are curled down at the bottom. Right. So once you see that, if you're daring, <laughs> you can pick <laughs> them out. And, uh, it's a bit of a party trip, you know, to see yeah. you hold a hornet, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's not going to hurt you. You can see there. It's a beautiful thing. 